Hi, Attorney Jim Selbach here. I've been uh, practicing bankruptcy law for over 42 years. And this is a series of videos to give you a basic understanding of how bankruptcy works, how would it affect you, and what might happen in your particular case. Uh, today, we're going to just talk about the uh, difference between Chapter 7 bankruptcy and Chapter 13 bankruptcy. They're very different. They're used for different purposes. They have different results. So let's talk about that just uh, for a bit here. A good way to think about this is Chapter 7, you're going to pay your creditors, if you can, through your assets. And at Chapter 13, you're paying your creditors through your income. Now, what do I, what do I mean by that? Um, chapter 7, a Chapter 7 trustee has the ability to sell things that you own and then give that money to your creditors. Um, now, in now current times in New York, at least upstate New York, um, most of your assets are protected by what we call exemptions. Yeah, there's an exemption for just about everything that you could think of, your house, your car, uh, your money. Uh, but you have to sit down uh, with the bankruptcy attorney and go over a, a list of all of your assets to determine if there's anything that you might lose. It's pretty unlikely. But that's what happens in a Chapter 7. Um, most cases are what we call um, no asset cases, which means there are no assets. They're going to be distributed to creditors, um, and uh, so they really don't get paid. Uh, there is an income qualification for Chapter 7. It's based on how much money you make. Again, it's a very, it's a very sophisticated um, formula. So when you meet with your bankruptcy attorney and, and you'll go through your income, you will be able to tell whether you will be able to file a Chapter 7 case. You might not be able to. In Chapter 13, you're setting up kind of like a, it's like a payment plan. You're making monthly payments over a three to five year period to a court appointed trustee and then he distributes that money to your creditors in a chapter 13 there are no um assets that are being sold the chapter 13 trustee doesn't have the ability to sell anything he doesn't want to sell anything that's not his job um so you don't have to worry about your assets now sometimes you have a case where maybe you have a lot of equity in your home for example and uh, you don't want to lose your home, so you'd be forced to file a 13. So you're still paying them what they would hypothetically get in a Chapter 7, but you're making payments, and that's the difference here. Both of these cases involve what we call the automatic stay, which means once you file, your creditors are no longer able to collect their debts. They can't sue you. They can't repossess. They can't foreclose. They can't send you a bill. They can't call you. Um, so you're protected whether you're in a chapter 7 or a chapter 13. So that's uh, the difference between chapter 7 and chapter 13. Uh, we'll talk a little bit more about this in more detail in future videos.